In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use three tools to produce high quality content that will rank in Google. So hello, my name's Ash and let's just jump straight into it. So if you haven't used it before, this is a tool called perplexity.ai. I'll leave a link in the bottom. It's completely free to use and it basically allows you to search and write content but with the sources cited. So think of it as well-researched articles. So for this example, I'm going to do say, are polar bears likely to go extinct? Let me zoom in so you can see that a bit better. And then you just click run. And as you can see, it does a search first and then it will produce some content. Oh, it even has photos in there. I didn't know it did photos. And then you can just copy the clipboard. And that's the start of our article. Because when you copy the list of clipboard, annoyingly, get a fresh notepad for you. Annoyingly, when you copy it to the clipboard, it does these citations like this. And whilst those are fine, like it's not that great for for having in your article. But the best thing about this is you can just keep going through and through. So let's just say. Uh, Let's, let's pretend we're going to do one on the article Fiesta blog. Oops. Blog central. So I'm obviously not going to post this because we're not going to do a blog post about polar bears. But I'll tell you what, let's 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 just do something that's a real example then. Go home. We're going to do uh, what is the main use cases of AI content writing with WordPress? So, oops, given an extra hash, but here we go. So right now, this is looking up what AI can be used for. It's probably actually a wonderful keyword that's super well thought out. So let's do our article like this. What is the main use cases? Of AI for content writing with WordPress. Cool, wonderful title, probably too long. Let's have a quick look. 67, perfect. It's less than 70, that's what we want. So using this, and I copy that, that's my that's my intro bit here. That I like the intro, but you see it's got all of these uh, citations. That's no good to me. I'm gonna jump over to chat GPT. I've written a lovely little prompt here. Again, I'll put it in the bottom. And then you just jam that through. And this will give us that same content, except the links will be more contextualized. Assuming ChatGPT is gonna to work today. I'll leave that running in the background because there we go, it is gonna start writing. But then from here, the best thing about this is we can just keep going. So, I think that might be the next best section for my article. So I might write some stuff here once ChatGPT has got back to me. And then I'll have this as the next section down. Oh my God, ChatGPT is running very slow today. Just going to duplicate this to a different tab and I'm going to run exactly the same prompt and this time with the next response keep that going this one might have rewritten by now no yeah it's brilliant timer now you make a video and it screws you over but you can see with this one that it's now built in like the correct terms in the correct places I mean, we can leave those at the bottom. I'm probably not going to because I, I hate having lists of citations. I think it looks really crap. So there's that. Brilliant bit of text here. I might ask a follow-up question. Uh, let's put in what's the difference between GPT-3 and GPT-4. Another great heading that probably makes a lot of sense. So we'll do what are the differences because that's slightly better English. And you can see how quickly I've built up like a pretty decent article. 
So again, let's just take our little bit of text here. Let's duplicate this, kill that. Go there. And then our new answer is this. I'm only gonna do three sections because else the video is going to be quite long and this is taking forever to write in the other thing. I mean this is even put in a... I might take that as a H3 if this does more. No it doesn't, okay. Fair enough. Kill that. Kill that. We can see this has now got a nice link in there, it's got a source link according to this analysis, this blog post, this blah 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 blah. Now finally, this first one has uh, decided to finish writing. So I'm going to put this in here. And as you can see, I've now got a... can I see how many words it is? 610. So I've done 610 words of fact researched content with loads of outbound links, probably too many outbound links, but I actually like having a lot of outbound links just because it shows it's well researched and it's really good. But I'm sure if I was to run that through one of those AI checkers, uh, I, I can't expose my internal AI checker actually, but if I was, if I was to run that through an AI checker, I'm sure it passed fine. Not that they matter for reference, but here we go. Like, here's a really high quality blog post We've used only three tools and it took us all of seven minutes. So, there you have it. I suggest you have a go with one of these cool tools. Obviously, there are paid tools out there that will do all of this automatically and produce high quality content that will rank really well, but it's up to you whether you want to pay money or not. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll catch up with you soon.